welcome back to our channel Blossom Valley. Hi guys, so guess where we are? Guess where we are? In the downtown. Toronto. On the whole downtown, so we're gonna show you everything. Yes, definitely, and I think this is our first visit of downtown Toronto yeah, since we actually. landed to Canada. Yeah, this is the first time. We are basically at Nathan Phillips. Just Today we're gonna find a lot of Indians here because it's a festival here. Yeah. Taste of India where a lot of food vendors are here, came over here so that you can enjoy their food. It's amazing. So we are yeah. going to enjoy a lot of food today. And Smithy, she has not had anything since morning. She told <laughs> yeah. I'll directly have over there. Yeah guys and it's a great feeling like living so far from India. Our community, many events they organize like this is the one of them to celebrate whole community together. So, so many cultural activities will also be happening. So, let's see, let's go inside and explore what is there. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Let's go. Nathan Phillips Square और यहाँ पे काफी iconic Toronto sign है यहाँ पे जो कि लोग आते हैं फोटो खिचाते हैं। I'm also ready to click pictures here. But I think night view काफी अच्छा होता है। अभी तो यहाँ पे सारी light वगैरह जल जाती है तो काफी अच्छा होता है। और आज के दिन ये यहाँ पे taste of India as a cultural fest of India हो रहा है। जो कि काफी लोग यहाँ पे आए हुए हैं, काफी फूड वेंडर्स हैं यहाँ पे। So guys, I was really happy to feel like India in Toronto, but when I entered the venue, I felt like it's just not for Indians. The Taste of India Food Festival brings different community together through common love, that is food. As you can see, how crowded it was. Every stall was having 30 minutes of wait timing. Anyhow, we managed to get something. Guys, it's really too hot here. We found some cold place. Yeah. Pedo ka chao. First paid puja after coming over here. <laughs> first paid puja. Some and then samosas, anything else. Some veg wraps. And one chana. So guys, this is how one dollar samosa look like. <laughs> Taste it. How is it? Not so good. Not so good. It looks like biscuit. <laughs> Full crunchy. Oh. And see. How I like. But no. Feelings.
hydrated. Fortunately, we got coconut water here. So you can see this is a huge line just for coconut water. So let's wait. Probably we have to wait more than 15 minutes. I miss India. I miss you guys. Miss you so much. Uh, Smithy liking the coconut water. <laughs> you were craving for this so long, right? Is it good? So these were like seven dollar one coconut water. Costa Rica. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so guys, after enjoying the coconut, we actually thought to see nearby places. We saw some rental bikes. But we didn't took any bike because we just have to walk 2 kilometers. And uh, the first place where we wanted to go was Sugar Beach so that we can relax in the sunny weather. In between we saw this beautiful church. It's center of downtown. Very beautiful park. Very chilling. Before reaching to the sugar beach, we went for Loblas to buy some drinks so that we can enjoy in the beach. Loblas were selling really beautiful flowers as you can see. So on the other side of the road, you can see the sugar beach. Guys, the Sugar Beach is one of the best artificial beach in Canada. Very peaceful, calm, beautiful beach. Has comfortable white wooden muskoka chairs with the pink umbrellas which looks very pretty in the white sand. And guys, if you really want to enjoy that, you have to come little early because sometimes it really gets too busy, you won't get the real experience of that chairs and the pink umbrella so it's better you can carry your own stuff snacks to relax
Okay guys, so now we are heading towards Young Dundas Square. So let's see what's in there. So guys, the Young Dundas Square is the Toronto version of New York's Times Square. And this is included in the major attraction of the downtown Toronto. And it was a walking distance from Sugar Beach and Nathan Phillips Square. So how can we miss that? Looks like some live performances are going on. And watch. So this was all about the Young Dundas Square of Toronto. So now we were heading back to our main thing that we came for is Nathan Phillips Square to see the night view. So we actually took a shortcut from the Toronto Eaton Center and we quickly reached back to the Nathan Phillips Square. As you can see guys, it was really crowdy and it was very hard to click pictures. It was really fun proudly celebrating the multiculturalism culture of our great nation Canada. And guys, looking at this view, I was really, really surprised. On this note, I really want to say Happy 76th Independence Day to everyone who is watching my video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you really did, please share a flag emoji in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. Bye, take care.